hey you guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> how are you guys doing hope that you guys are doing amazing if this is your first time here welcome and if you guys are returning welcome back all right all right so let's get into this reading here i don't even know what we're gonna talk about for real let's just see all right take what resonate collective leave what do not don't try to carry the load all on your own. If it's if that part of the story is not yours, leave that for somebody else. All right. I want to welcome in my divine ancestors of the pure white light, my guardian angels. I ask that they shield me, cover me, and protect me as I channel the messages for the divine collective. All right. I ask that they guard all spiritual portals. All spiritual doors that I may be opening up knowingly and unknowingly. All right. Holy Spirit, guardian angels, divine ancestors. What are we talking about today for the collective? What are we talking about today for the collective? clairsentient psychic knowledge by smelling some of you guys are clairsentience you incarnate you incarnated well yeah you incarnated with this gift but this was a gift that was handed down to you from your lineage from your ancestors this was an ancestral gift the gift of smelling spirits okay and for any of you guys that have that gift you know um uh, bad spirit spirits bad spirits smell rotten they smell rotten like think about rotting foul meat the stench of something that's it's just it smells rotten that's what a bad spirit smell like that's what demons smell like they smell like rotting foul as meat okay um decaying like a like a scent of decay all right some of you guys could have recently um smelled that same stench and you know that is that's the gift that you inherited from your ancestors from your lineage all right you reincarnated with that gift some of you guys also um you reincarnated with with the position or the responsibility to heal ancestral curses on your family to um to be the one to wrap up unhealthy family issues like um family cycles or whatever running your family that you know for a fact is low vibrational you know that ain't good um you know you were called to be the one person that has the the guts the balls to not do what you see everybody else in your family do to be the one to say no that ain't right i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what's right type vibe you know I heard I smell bullshit. Some of you guys can smell bullshit a mile away or you can smell bullshit on a person. Okay. Like if somebody is has some like some bullshit energy collective, you you could you can smell it on them. People, it's really hard for people to try to like get one over on you. Yeah, see, look, they, there it is. Black aura. You smell bad spirits on people. You can tell when somebody has a bad spirit about themselves, when their spirit is ugly, when they when they have a foul spirit. When somebody's very negative, you can smell bullshit on people for real. So, uh, you know, sometimes entities try to like hide. They try to like mask the fact that they're a bad spirit. But I mean, come on. The devil can only hide his ugly face for so long, right? Uh, uh, a person that's in, in the shadows, like somebody who got a lot of bad spirits, somebody who has a dark aura can only hide this about themselves for so long until your discernment kick in. Some of you guys are just very discerning. So when you meet a person, it does not take long. They don't even have to do nothing wrong to you for you to be able to sense bullshit on them. For you to be able to sense that they have um, a black, it's something dark about this person. Yeah, you can smell bullshit and bad spirits on a person a mile away. Witchcraft. Paganism, uh, practicing witchcraft. Some of you guys are witches. 
Um, this is something that you inherited from your, your bloodline. And I know people give the word witch a bad name, but come on now. <sighs> it's, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad. Everything has good and everything has bad. You got people in a church house right now that practice witchcraft in a bad way. All right. So let's see. We're going we gonna to keep it a buck. We're going to keep it a thousand. We're going to keep it all the way for real. Witchcraft exists in the church, but not even in a positive way. You got good witches. You have witches who are of the light and you have witches who are of the darkness. You got pastors who are good pastors who operate in the light. And you got pastors who operate in the darkness. You got witches who don't do nothing but heal people and help people. Then you got witches who don't, who, who operate out of the shadows. They, 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 they demonic. And all they do is try to hurt people and harm people and attack people. You know, so we just got to try not to judge people for real because some of us going to church, under a pastor who is a whole warlock, okay? And the first lady is a whole dark-ass witch, all right? Or some of us going to church and the whole deacon board is a, a group of dark-ass warlocks, all right? And, and, the, and the elders and the thing is witches. But some of them ain't bad, some of them ain't good. I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. Some some of them good, some of them bad. You just got to use your discernment, all right? Know who is who before you try to judge anybody. Use discern the energy, discern the spirit. All right. Mm, some of you guys are you're getting like a spiritual message in your dreams. So that could be another gift that you have, or just kind of pay attention to your dreams. Be careful of getting attacked in your dreams. I heard psychic dreams, psych, uh, spiritual attacks. Somebody needs to do them like a um get you a purple candle. And like maybe do you like some type of like little ritual to protect your to protect your uh so that you won't be getting attacked, your psyche won't be getting attacked, your crown won't be getting attacked, okay? If you know what I'm trying to say. So no one could send you spiritual or psychic attacks. There is somebody in your energy collective who works out of the shadow. It says shadow work. But it, it, it was in reverse. Somebody is not doing the shadow work. So therefore, this person is not growing. They're not healing. They're not doing the shadow work. They're not. This is somebody who got some demons. I just want y'all to notice. All right. Um, we're going to kind of get into the energy of this person. I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to call in more protection while I um, channel in this energy. I want to call in Archangel Michael. I said you shield me, cover me, and protect me. Um, as I channel this message, I want to call in Archangel Gabriel to cover me and protect me as well. And I want to call in my warring ancestors. All right. Thank you. Clear cognizance, source, download, strong intuition. So it's something about you guys receiving downloads and messages through spirit and something or somebody has been trying to cloud your intuition. Like, so kind of, I'm hearing, so what you see in your dreams may have you confused. And cloudy about your messages that you're receiving in your dreams. This is something of the shadows that's doing this or someone of the shadows that's sending this energy. Something about how you receive your messages, your downloads with, with claircognizance. Like somebody's trying to do something. They could possibly be using witchcraft to do this. Okay, this is somebody who has a very, very dark aura. This person, I don't care. They think they ain't, but they, this person is evil. This is an evil, dark, demonic person collective. They are very dark. And this person, is they, they're refusing to do the shadow work. This is somebody who try to present themselves in a false sense of light. But this person has a lot of shadows, a lot of demons. And see, you have a strong intuition. And whoever this is or whatever this is, it feel like he cannot attack you. Because your intuition is so strong. So somebody's using some, some form of black magic, dark magic with the witchcraft, with the black aura. And the only reason why I'm saying that this is a dark witch is because black aura came out with it. Other than that, I would never assume that this is a dark witch. 
okay? This is somebody using some form of dark magic, dark manipulation to um, block your intuition. That's why I said I felt led. That's why I said get a purple candle and do something to protect you guys from psychic attacks. Somebody is experiencing a lot of psychic attacks, all right? There's a lot of attacks on your crown chakra as well. And a lot of you guys, these attacks are happening when you're trying to sleep. When you're trying to sleep. Somebody needs to put some light, um, some salt down around their bed, um, out their front door, their back door. You can get you some mug work, mix it up in there, pray over it, Psalms 91, and put it down in all your, your entryways, your house, and stuff like that. The entryway to your bedroom, around your bed. It don't take a whole lot, you know. You need to make sure that you guys are continuing to sage your house every night before you go to bed with the doors open. Sage your environment, especially under the bed because little shadow creatures and shadow spirits love to hide in dark places under the bed, behind the dresser, in the closet, behind them clothes, this very dark crevices. Bad spirits like to hide there. In the corner, in the room, like I noticed that a lot of bad spirits, I, I could see them in the corners, in the ceiling, like in the corner, all right? So when you're saging, make sure you're getting those corners in the ceiling in your room, top and bottom. Somebody needs to put a glass of water under their bed, put you some sea salt in this cup, and stir it up and put it under your bed. Because Spirit is saying that's going to help you with the bad dreams. You keep having nightmares. And they're saying that that's going to help you. Put you some sea salt in a cup. Stir it up and put it under the bed. Where you, wherever the part decide that you sleep at. Alright. Tarot. Someone could be a tarot card reader. Alright. Uh, tarot cards, oracle cards, and a pendulum. Somebody is communicating with Spirit through tarot. You yourself could... Um, be really good at, you know, communicating with spirit through cars because these cars are just a tool. So you don't even really need these cars. Whoever I'm talking to, you don't need these cars. You like them. You like cars. But you are a real oracle for real. You're a real oracle. You don't really need these cars. But you just like cars. Okay? Um, Someone could also be getting a reading on you guys collective. Could have gotten a reading on you. Someone got the gift of reading cards from an ancestor. Somebody's ancestor read cards. Somebody's grandmother was a gifted psychic and tarot card reader. Yeah, she could have also been into Reiki. You've been called into Reiki. She was a healer. This woman had healing hands. So this was the woman at the church who was laying hands on people. Somebody's grandma was like able to lay hands on people and cast spirits out of people. Yeah, intuition. Look at this. Something with your intuition and how you see things and clarity. Like, something has been trying to block this. Whatever this attack is was supposed to block your intuition. How you see things. Give like So, the, I'm hearing distort your vision. Distort your view. Distort your dreams for real. Y'all need to go into hermit. Go into meditation. You need to slow down. Even, even like if you see something in a dream, don't be so quick to act. Slow down. Pray. Ask for clarity. Ask for clarity, collective. Think something through. Don't rush into something. Somebody, somebody been giving somebody like a false download in a dream. Something's been giving somebody a false download so that they would attack an innocent person. Or, they, or that you would think that you're defending yourself. But this person really ain't did nothing to you. These, these are demons that's doing this. This is a bad spirit that's doing this. This is why spirit is saying, hey, slow down. Pray for clarity. Pray and ask God to send you clarity. Yeah. Somebody don't want you to share your gifts. Whoever this person is, 
or whatever this is is trying to block you from sharing your gifts with the world, even though you guys are clearly called and chosen to share your gifts with the world. The world needs your gifts. Whatever you possess, whatever you have, you guys are meant to share this with the world. You're supposed to share your gifts. Hmm. The moon phases is here. Um, the moon phases will assist you. Some of you guys need to learn how to like work with the different moon phases because these evil people really be out here working with the moon moon cycles and stuff to attack people, to attack white lighters. You guys are white lighters. And 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 evil people be out here utilizing the moon phases to try to send spell work and attack people who are considered white lighters. Yeah. These are very dark and demonic people, but spirit is saying you can use the moon phases to protect yourself. You can protect yourself with this energy too. Someone is like a moon goddess or a moon god, or you just, you know, the moon is just uh, intriguing to you, or you've always felt connected to the moon. Some of you guys have clair uh, clairsentience where you just have like a gut feeling. Y'all read energy very well. That makes sense because the tarot card came out, but. You can use cards if you want to because using cards is not bad. Actually, cards are very fun, all right? But you are somebody who can read even without the cards. The cards just confirm what you felt. You read energy very well. And that's why spirits say that you can, you can smell bullshit a mile away. Like when somebody's coming in with that BS energy, you can read them. I'm, I'm hearing you are someone who can read a person for filth. You can read them in and out. I'm talking about turn them in every way but loose. You can read a person. <laughs> Ain't no getting nothing over on you guys, collective. It can't nobody get nothing over on you. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Also, you guys, check out my website, you guys. This is my Ruby my ruby jewel bracelet this is on my website isn't that cute make sure y'all go and grab y'all one all right this is one of my favorite pieces on there because i love i love beaded jewelry and stones and stuff like that so go on the website check it out grab you one this does not come as a set though i will have these um on its way in too but these are sold individually so check it out all right they kind of look like raspberries <laughs> All right, give me another message for the collective. Thank you. So, Spirit's about to grant some type of wish to you guys. Something that you've been praying for, something you've been manifesting. I'm hearing it was put, it was placed on pause for a particular reason, for your highest good. Something that you wish for was, was placed on pause for a reason. sorrow over a loss you guys could have been like struggling with like letting somebody go or letting a situation go y'all could have um could have been grieving the loss of somebody that you love whether they physically died or this person is just dead to you spiritually for some of y'all this person is just dead to you spiritually they're just they're alive but they're just dead to you and this was really really hard to let this person go because you did have so much genuine love and compassion for this person. You loved it, this person collective with all your heart. But this was somebody who was of the shadows. This was a dark demonic. I, I heard this person had a host of demons in them. And that you did all that you could do collective. You did all that you guys could do as a white lighter. You did all that you could do as someone with a white aura about yourself. Yeah. You it says align with higher align with your higher self, wise and exalted. You guys are exalted spiritually. You're very close to divine. All right? You're like the middleman for other people to get their prayers and messages over to source quicker. Yeah, so you must be like a chosen one. Yeah, here it is, throne. You are in some type of spiritual position of authority, but you are not evil. Like you are you are high ranking, but in a good way. You are all about love and light and helping people. Okay? Now sometimes you do have to roll your sleeves up 
when God give you clearance and you have to protect yourself. But you're not out here using your gifts and your authority to attack people and to steal from people and to try to block people and to try to cut people's gifts off and weird shit like that, right? So you are on your rightful throne. You're supposed to be in this energy. Like somebody don't like the fact that you're chosen. They don't like the fact that you sit in a position of spiritual authority and power. They don't like this. Somebody's, it's, I heard they wanted to dethrone you. Somebody's wanted to dethrone you. If you are this white light or somebody wants to de dethrone you. I just saw the rat energy collected, but I ain't take it. This is a rat. This is a filthy energy. This person probably got rabies and everything. This is somebody who think they shit don't think. But this person like got some type of spiritual rabies. I heard um, the, the, the Department of Infectious Diseases. This person has a spiritual disease that's very contagious. Very contagious collective. You will be receiving a... Uh, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. I'm the universe about to bless you with something. This is this is something that you deserve. This is going to be something rare. This is going to be unheard of. Whatever this is, you guys you guys are about to receive. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. People gonna be like, "What? Like that's rare." It okay. This could be an opportunity. Okay, this is like the right person seeing you and elevating you. Um, exalting you above everybody else that's probably been waiting for this type of opportunity here. Excuse me. Yeah, spiritual birth. You guys are not going to have to go looking for this. This person that's supposed to find you is going to find you. All right, this opportunity that is for you, that the, that the universe is blessing you with, that divine is blessing you with, it's going to find you. You ain't got to go looking for it, collective. Yeah. And this is going to be like some wow, wow, miracle type stuff. Like, dang. Um, this is the type of stuff that people sit up and fantasize and daydream about happening to them. And you, this is going to be some news. Like, this news is going to travel quickly. Whatever this opportunity, whatever this blessing is, okay? Whatever this precious gift is that divine is about to give you, this is going to travel quickly. Yeah. People's gonna people are gonna be seeking out information. They're gonna be calling you to my some. How did this happen? Where did you meet him? Where did you meet her? Where were like? I mean, you gonna tell like we want to know or you know right place, right time type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Or how did you get that job? Or how did you get this opportunity? Or you know, yeah. I'm I'm getting an energy that people are gonna be trying to seek you for information on how we could be them. Because it's they're gonna want to get in where they fit in at. They're gonna want to rub elbows with the people that you're gonna be able to rub elbows with in this whatever circle or whatever this opportunity is or whatever this level, this new level that you guys are gonna be on. Someone you know is un undependable and insincere. Yeah. So this could be this person with this dark energy here who you're no longer connected to. This person is dead to you spiritually. This is somebody who's dead to you. You are indifferent to this person for real. You've already kind of grieved. I'm hearing you've already grieved the loss of this connection with this individual here. It's over. November could be significant. So something good could be happening in November. This person could be born in November. Protection from negative forces beyond your control. And the dagger, man, listen, divine protected you from this person here. The bare energy here. Y'all need a protection from, I'm done. It says danger, especially in money matters. This person could have tried to backstab you or they did backstab you with a dagger for your money. Whether they sent something to you spiritually that was supposed to take all your money, your stability, your security from you. Or this person betrayed you here in the physical and it affected you spiritually to the point where maybe you started losing your stability, your security. They could have took your energy and they could have invested it elsewhere collective. This person was a liar. Like the cobweb energy, this person was involved into some, um, some weird shit. I'm heard this was a sticky situation. So you had you had to be protected. 
You have to be protected from this person. Get back to basis. Some of you guys are in the energy of starting over because of what was stolen from you or what this person attempted to do to you. I'm just getting a strong energy collective of somebody wanting to dethrone someone who rightfully deserves to be in this position. You deserve it. You are a white lighter. This person is a, a dirty, low-down scumbag. And how dare they? How dare they even speak on your position? How dare they even speak on your, your anointing? How dare they even speak on your position that spiritually that God has put you at? Your blessings. How dare they even speak on your blessings? You are a healer. You are a white lighter collective, a light worker. How dare somebody who is this much of a, a loser, this much of a, a, a dark, evil person? This is a, a el, el bozo type of energy. This, oh, wow. That's awful. You and them are not the same, like night and day. You guys are not the same. And whatever you guys have going on is above this person's pay grade spiritually. All right? They don't get paid enough spiritually to even be trying to attack you for real. To be in your business at all. I'm hearing God pays you very well. You're very taken care of. Everybody, people need to mind their business. You guys have some type of um, authority. Um, of You guys were... You were given clearance to lead with the staff energy here. This is like a spiritual leader. And it says you will be taken care of and uh, taken care of in difficult times. Didn't I tell you that divine, divine pays you well? You're very well taken care of. Yeah. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. So you guys are being are being called to trust your intuition with everybody around you right now. Anybody that you meet, family, friend, lover. Trust your intuition. I heard this is what they don't like about you, though. People that are in the shadows, they can't stand people with your type of gifts. Because you see through their bullshit. You just see it. And you call them out every time. That's why you can't keep no friends. Because a lot of them be um, shadow workers. That's why you can't keep no friends. Great personal sorrow, man. I don't know if this was your energy at one point. Like you, you've been through a lot. Maybe you have been through a lot of grief. Maybe you've cried a lot. You've suffered a lot on your journey collective. For real. But somebody really wanted to cause you great and personal sorrow. But they can't do it. This could be an older woman wanted to see you suffer. Wanted to see you cry. Somebody tried to break your spirit for real. Or you could be an older woman. You could have an older woman that's protecting you. An emotional, secure, and loving family is important to you. So this could have been somebody that was in your family. And all you've ever wanted was a loving family. A loving family dynamic. Because that's important to you. So maybe you came from a home life where, you know, you didn't feel love. You didn't feel appreciated. It caused you a lot of sorrow, a lot of tears. Somebody actually wanted to transition from this realm because of everything that they went through in their childhood. Or how their family treated them. But that was the enemy trying to trick you up out of your position. Get you to take yourself out of here because the devil himself is too weak to take you up out of here. God say, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. So the enemy can't do nothing to you. It can make you do it to yourself if you're not strong enough um, spiritually to defeat this type of attack, these type of attacks. You got to be strong. You, I know you've heard the saying, a weak mind is the devil's playground. That's why it's so strong. It's so serious for you guys to make sure that your mind is strong spiritually. That you got a strong mind. Okay, I want to know what else do we need to know? Thank you. Your soul has returned to learn many lessons. So you guys are here learning a few more lessons. All right. Tell me more. Thank you. 
cardinal moon taking charge being being bold active take action moving quickly leadership pioneering spirit step into your power wow and it says initiative with the staff energy here even though it don't say leadership i felt leadership for you guys and here it is a part of your calling and purpose here is to take the position of being a spiritual leader yeah but something or someone for the longest have been trying to energetically stop you or make you get up out of that seat so that they can have that seat or it, they can never have that seat if you are of the darkness you can't never sit in a sit in the seat of somebody who is of the light you can't never sit there all right if you low vibrational you judging people and carrying out and acting weird and shit you can't never sit on the throne of a light worker you can't never sit on the, on, the, on the throne of an earth angel. They can't never have your seat. Somebody wants your seat. They want you to get up from your purpose, from your destiny, from your calling while you're here. They want you to give it up because they can't take it from you. Okay, so ooh, let me see. Let's pull from my Star Child Oracle deck and let's see what's going to come out. Look at that. Can't make it up. You guys are royalty. You come from a royal bloodline. Didn't I say you're very well taken care of? Didn't I say that even these these losers can't even address you for real? Like I ain't trying to be funny, but they can't even address you. You you are above this person's pay grade. The, okay, the devil ain't paying these losers enough to attack you for real. Because you know what type of ass whoopings come with trying to attack you. They're not getting paid enough for this shit. All right. <laughs> you guys are royalty. That's why the throne energy came out. You sit in a position of power. You sit on the throne. And that's why the enemy was working on you early in your life. Stabbing you. Betraying you. Doing dirty stuff to you. Making you cry. Keeping you in a place of personal grief and sorrow. So that you would take yourself out of here because they don't have the authority to take you up out of here. And that if you take yourself out of here, you would give up your seat. Don't do it. It's a trick. Don't do it, collective. Um, all right. So I'm going to extend this video over on the extended collective. Um, I'm going to see what messages your spirit guides have for you. All right. I'm going to uncover anything that your spirit guides want you guys to know about your current path and any decisions that they need you to make or, you know, and uh, what energies are surrounding you guys right now. Uh, positive and negative what else is influencing your life from past present and future all right what spiritual lessons are you guys meant to learn here we're gonna we're gonna um, dive into that what is blocking and hindering your spiritual progress collective um and how can you align more deeply with your higher self all right now let me tell you last time i did just a general reading like this and I did an extended and it was some past love energy that came out over on, on that extended. And I was hoping that it didn't, but it did. But I think it more so came out when I was trying to see what has been hindering you guys. So, you know, if you if you don't want to know about nobody from your past, I don't know if you want the extended for real or not, because anything could come out during this extended. So um, I love you guys. I see you guys. I see you guys on the other side. Peace.